The server also said that soon-to-be ex-wife immediately burst into tears and was asking if she was being pranked. Her boss did not seem to react at all. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post, guys. I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title. Let's just get into it. So the title is just simply served. So before I go into this, I, I saw this post, right? And I said, well, seems like there's an original post so just doing my research and looking through the comments and things like that he um that the original post isn't available in here um i don't know if he deleted it uh moderators deleted deleted it somehow it got deleted it's not there but you can kind of pick up on what happened apparently of course she cheated with her boss, um, here he goes into, you know, how she got served and everything. Let's just get into it. As to be expected, today was insane. Soon to be ex-wife got served around noon and everything kicked off from there. She called and texted me so much my phone glitched and would not turn on for 30 minutes. Luckily, I was able to get the text out to both of our parents and let them know what had been going on for the past few months. What soon to be ex-wife did, and also sent the video only to them and let them know she did not come home that night of the video. Her mother is devastated and said she did not know her daughter was capable of being so evil and was also furious. She had been lied to by her. Although my mom is ticked off about being lied to in the cheating, she still thinks we should go to counseling and try to work through this by getting soon-to-be ex-wife to quit her job altogether and solely focus on the marriage. She wants to sit us both down and try to work us through it. So she says, I've texted and let friends know the same thing without the video and will show them personally if they want to see it. Back to soon-to-be ex-wife. She was served at work, as many of you know, and I did ask if it was possible that she be served in front of her boss, but later found out that her boss had to be notified before the server showed up anyway. The server also said that soon-to-be ex-wife immediately burst into tears and was asking if she was being pranked. Her boss did not seem to react at all, but I believe this is because he had to have known on beforehand. This is when the calls and text messages from her came through and effed up my phone. I didn't answer anything, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't from all the spamming she was doing. I ended up going home to get the VARs and was met by her mother, who was waiting to speak with one of us in person, basically whichever one of us got home first. She still could not believe the video and wanted to confront her daughter. I explained to her further while we waited for soon-to-be ex-wife about the situation and also told her what happened with the boss coming to the house and she was even more upset than before. About an hour passed and soon-to-be ex-wife storms in the door and immediately wants to break down and went from begging me to stop the divorce to cursing me out right in front of her mother. She says how immature I am for not speaking with her before filing and how she absolutely hates me and why would I do this to her and eventually says her boss is more of a man than I will ever be because he treats her how she wants to be treated and how he has treated her like a queen since he's come to the job. She told me everything was worth it and she wishes she would have gotten the first time they had sex on tape so she could show me how much of a man he is. Her mother is clearly shocked and calls for her dad to come and remove her from the house because she notices things are getting a bit heated. As her dad pulls up, soon-to-be ex-wife attempts to physically assault me, but her dad catches her just in time to snatch her up and take her to the car. Her mother apologized, told me she would be back to collect some of soon-to-be ex-wife's things, and they all left. I have been packing up most of her crap for them to take 
just to make it a quick handoff so I don't have to deal with any more drama today. I have texted my mother-in-law and let her know soon-to-be ex-wife is not welcome back on my property, and if she shows up, she will be escorted off of the premises by police. She agreed that she will not be letting her come back here. I have not listened to VARs, and I am not sure I even want to because I just got a full confession to my face, and I don't think listening will do anything. I have also spoken with my lawyer, And he has agreed to writing to HR for me. Yeah, that's where I am now. I can't tell you how I feel because I really don't know besides feeling empty. Also, thanks for all the comments and support. I see them all and read them all and appreciate everything. I may not respond to all of them, but I do try to upvote every single comment. Sorry to keep you guys waiting, but today has just been a lot. Wow, let me give my thoughts. So to me, it sounds like she was cheating with the boss. Of course, you know, there's some video footage, (laughs) video footage, some audio footage, audio something he has, but she confessed everything to him. So he's, he feels good about what he did. Good. This sounds like a guy who really, you know, went for the juggler when he found out his wife was cheating. Oh, really? Okay. Well, let me, uh, Go ahead and file divorce. He did the right thing. Let me go ahead and file for divorce and get you served. Oh, I'm going to serve you at work. Let's spice it up a little bit. Salute to you, sir. Salute to you. Um, he has an update here, guys. Let's check out this update. Update. Mother-in-law came by to get my soon-to-be ex-wife's things, and she stayed to talk and tell me what happened after they left. She says soon-to-be ex-wife tried to lie to them when they took her back to their home but was shown the video. Soon-to-be ex-wife did nothing but began to cry and makes excuses, but mother-in-law was firm with her and told her she messed up a good thing for a night to be a lady of the streets. She was asking her if this moment with her boss was worth having years with me and says soon-to-be ex-wife didn't answer and instead cried about it. Mother-in-law was asking her how long she'd been seeing her boss, and soon-to-be ex-wife did not want to tell her at first until mother-in-law threatened to go and ask the boss herself. It's been two months since they made it into an affair, and that Saturday she did sleep with him, and they continued to do so throughout the week, which makes me question when, if they really did something at work, and if she even did go to work. Mother-in-law says she wants soon-to-be ex-wife to quit the job, but soon-to-be ex-wife has refused so far. I didn't tell her my plan of going to HR, and I don't plan to. Father-in-law does not want anything to do with his daughter. He's so upset still. (laughs) Let's jump in these comments, man, see if we can get any more information. You rate your marriage at an 8. That is very normal and fits well with the 80-20 rule. You are meeting 80% of your needs and probably investing a significant amount of time, treasure, and emotional energy to it. Nobody can do 100%. The new relationship energy in RE is almost all biological. And here's OP. Well, I hope the 5% was worth it because I'm 100% gone. (laughs) There you go, sir. I like this OP. Here's OP again. I've got too much to lose compared to the both of them. Sorry, dude. I was just venting. I know how much you hurt and rage is inside you now. Try and find an outlet if you can, like working out or running, if that's your thing. No, you're good, LOL. I don't mind it. I don't know if I'm mad at the fact that she's cheating or the fact that she's cheating with someone who could be her dad. Here's OP again. I got too much at stake to go and fight with the guy. He's losing his job and will probably lose a lot more. I'm keeping my job and I've already gained so much. He isn't worth losing everything. He's been divorced for a few years now. Wow. And let me see. He has uh, has some other updates, guys. Let's see. He has some other updates. Let's see here. Here we go. Minor update. So soon to be ex-wife texted early this morning in an extremely long paragraph saying how sorry she was and has once again asked to call off the divorce. 
She says she'll try to make it up to me. She loves me and she wants to stay with me. She has also stated that she didn't know what what she was thinking when she slept with her boss and that it didn't mean anything to her and she didn't mean to hurt me. She has made it a point of saying that she will fix this whole situation and that she forgives me for sending the video to her parents and how she understands why I'm upset, but she really had too much to drink that night. Lies. She also was asking that I delete the video. I'm not. So we can move on and if I really want to throw away six years with her over this. Heck yeah, I do. (laughs) She wants to come by the house or meet up to talk. And possibly go to marriage counseling because she spoke to my mom about it. And my mom has convinced her I'd be willing to sit down with the two of them to talk about our options. She is very adamant that she doesn't want to divorce and has even asked when she can come back home to discuss this face to face. I didn't respond. (laughs) Good. And guys, it's more updates. All right. Update. Hey, everyone. I hope you all had a great holiday season and thank you for the best wishes as well as all of you continue to support continued support and checkups. I have been logged out of Reddit since my last update and have been debating if I should even update because I have a mole here. A cousin of hers has found this account and has of course shared everything with her. I don't know the account. Here are a few things going on. Oh, let me stop real quick. So maybe that's why he deleted his first post guys. Maybe there's some things in there you know, he doesn't want to be used against him because they are going through a divorce. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Interesting. Divorce is still ongoing and is going well now. I will keep it at that for now. I am currently going to therapy. It has helped a lot so far, although I'm not where I want to be. I'm, I know it'll take time. Ex in laws have still been in contact with me. They played a huge role in helping me get through some things. Yes, they did see the post as well. I haven't gotten a dog yet, but I do still want to get one. I just haven't focused on that part yet. I want to make sure I can really take care of it and be there for it. Drama broke out after X saw the post. She just had to tell me how hurt she was that I made her out to be a demon spawn online. She called me out she called me out in public and to confront me, LOL. Everyone knows what happened and how it happened now. Therefore, everyone knows what kind of person she is, my mother included. X, mother-in-law, also suspects that X is pregnant. However, X refuses to take a test. Wow. (laughs) X, mother-in-law, did not state why she thinks this, but I wouldn't be surprised. X apparently left her parents' house recently after getting into an argument with her father. He is still upset about what happened, especially after reading the post. Mother-in-law suspects that X gone back to her ex-boss because they had apparently been in contact recently. She isn't completely sure, though, since they have spoken since X left. It's been about two weeks. I don't know what else to write, really, but you guys can have some satisfaction knowing that she probably read some of your comments. I don't know when I'll update again, but I'm fine, alive, and not in jail for those who are wondering. Oh, wow. (laughs) Not in jail. So, like, I really, really want to see the original post. Not going to lie, I really want to see it. But to me, it sounds like he had to get rid of the original post for whatever reason. But it also seems like a lot of those family members, and including his wife, ex-wife, saw the post. And they're upset about it, and people know how she is. Ah, mystery, mystery, man. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. To break it all down, wife got caught cheating with her boss. This man moved quickly and said, up, divorce had her served at work and she's begging and crying and pleading please don't divorce me it is what it is you made your bed now you have to lie in it guys let me know what you think about this in the comments i'll catch you guys at the next one and i cheated on him with a guy who is now locked up and will be looking at a minimum five years to life whoa
What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post uh, article, guys. I'll put this up on the screen so you guys can check it out. But you guys read the title. Let's just get into it. So, talkaboutmarriage.com. I cheated with a felon, and now I'm pregnant with lots of questions. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. My husband and I have been together for a total of eight years. We got pregnant fast and have managed to stay together this long, but not very much longer. We have two little boys, three and seven. Our relationship has always had issues, but we moved in with his parents over a year ago. And long story short, I was kicked out. Oh. We started going through mediation and I was out on my own by this point. My husband begged and pleaded for us to get back together, to be a family again, and I did. I cheated on him right before we split the first time, and ever since we've been back together, I thought and hoped that eventually I would feel the spark again, or enjoy intimacy, and all I can do is despise anything of the sort with him. We've been back together now for almost exactly a year. And I cheated on him with a guy who is now locked up and will be looking at a minimum five years to life. Whoa. I'm guessing that he will end up with around 10 years. We had just gone on vacation to my brother's wedding across the country when I realized that I'm pregnant. I was sleeping with the boyfriend the whole time and not my husband up until right after my boyfriend went to jail and this was only three days before we went on vacation. So if he wasn't in jail, I would be more than likely be with him, living with him like a family. But now I have, have that to be concerned with. Plus, I'm fighting my own case. Similar type of case, but not the same. And trying to stay out of jail for the sake of children. Whoa! Oh my, my, my. But if I end up with a felony on my record, this could hinder getting certain programs to help me do this on my own, which is another issue. I am also concerned with telling my family I'm pregnant, not by my husband, and that the baby daddy is in prison. I've already had two, two live births and two abortions, and really don't want to abort this baby. So I either keep it, and just deal with it, and just get through it, or I can abort it and potentially have a shot at keeping my family now together regardless of how unhappy I am. Wow. Please help me out here. I just have no idea what to do next. Yes, unfortunately, I do have strong feelings for, for the boyfriend. Wow. Let me get my thoughts. And I could see some comments down here. And just like this comment says, adoption is a good choice. More so in this situation. I that's exactly what I was thinking when he, the boyfriend's in jail for probably life. She's facing jail. It's not your husband's child. Adoption. Her situation. You and this boyfriend, what kind of stuff are y'all into? You're facing the same type of crime you said? He's facing life. What the heck? Your kids, your... <laughs> Tell your husband he needs to divorce you and get the kids and keep them away from you. You sound very unstable. You don't sound like a good person at all. Now you're planning on getting rid of the baby, not by adoption, but getting rid of the baby, acting like nothing ever happened, and being unhappy with your husband. Oh man, you know what's scary? I could see her doing, going through with that, doing a termination, staying with her husband, pretending to be happy until this guy gets out if he gets like five or ten years. Using her husband's money to send him money to take care of him in jail until he gets out, then all of a sudden she's leaving. Ma'am, you do not deserve this guy. His parents kicked you out for a reason. <laughs> his parents kicked out his wife. Your wife's got to go. She can't stay here. Mira.com. 
Cheatingwife.uk Cheating wife begs me to stay. I've been with my wife for 25 years and last year I found out she had been cheating. Dear Miriam, I've been with my wife for 25 years and last year I found out she had been cheating. She'd been having an affair with a man she met on the internet. We have three children. The youngest is at university. I believed her when she said she was staying over at her sister's when in fact she was meeting him. She begged for my forgiveness and I tried to put what happened to one side. But I soon discovered our relationship could never be the same again. So I was asking a solicitor to set the wheels in motion for a divorce. Good. On the day I told her, she threatened to off herself. She keeps telling me she will do it unless I take her back. I'm certain I want a divorce and I don't want to be held hostage by her threats. But I'm frightened. What if she did do it to herself? The person he's writing to replied and says, She's making herself into the victim when she has only herself to blame for the mess she's in. But it's clear she isn't coping well with the fallout from her affair and your reaction. She's in a state of shock. This wasn't supposed to happen. You were supposed, you were supposed to forgive her. After all the tears, begging and pleading, she resorted to emotional blackmail to try to manipulate you. Emotional blackmail is a form of bullying and it's wrong. You can stay in a relationship for fear of what she might do to herself. You're not responsible for keeping her alive. She's responsible for her feelings and actions. Nor should you stay out of sympathy. Good relationships are based on mutual respects. And it seems you've lost all respect for her. But for the sake of your children, you could offer some positive support to help her move on to a life without you. You could both enter counseling to help each other, to help each of you in the transition from cohabitation to separation. Do you think she'll agree? Even if she doesn't, it would be good for you to rationalize your feelings with an impartial listener. If you have any lingering doubts about ending the marriage, you can explore them in counseling to be sure feelings of shame, humiliation, and anger aren't driving your action. Wow, let me give my thoughts. At this point, she disrespects you like that? Look, hold on. You caught her cheating. She didn't come confess anything to you. Let's see. You found out she had been cheating. I'm guessing you, you caught her cheating. If you would have never caught her, you think she would have stopped cheating? Absolutely not. She had her husband paying the bill. She had her family. She has nothing to worry about. And she gets her little side piece on the side. And you know nothing about it. But you found out. Now she's all but her crying. Oh, please don't leave me. I love you. Okay, if you do, I'm going to do this. All right. That's on you. That's on you. I, I, I'm not going to suggest that you go through with it. But I'm leaving. It's over. Sad. She's losing her meal ticket. You probably never had to pay all the bills. You know, she had a nice life. And she thought she could be sneaky and get her a little side dude and it didn't work out. 